What's up guys? So today I'm gonna to be doing my first Heroes of the Storm video. It's gonna be a Sonya build. The first skill I usually like to take with Sonya is block. Even though she's not a main tank and an off tank, I like to take that, that's a lot of stability to her. After that, it's focused attack for the increased damage and ferocious healing for the increased health. Now, the next ability is up to you. It depends whether you want something to close the gap or if you want something that has more sustain. The next skill um, depends on your opponents. If they have a lot of interrupts, then you don't really want to go with Life Funnel. You want to go with the Aftershock, but if they don't have interrupts, Life Funnel is always fun. After that, I almost always take Imposing Presence. I just love how that works um, defensively for Sonya. And then the last skill is really your choice as well. You can either beef up your ultimate or you can go for Nexus Blades or something more defensive like Ignore Pain. So yeah, that's my basic build, and uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, this build in action. I was just playing with two of my friends. So yeah, let's check out the match. So yeah, as soon as you start, the first thing you want to do is uh, check out your opponent's roster and see, like I said, if they have any interrupts. And the only person I really had to worry about was Tychus in this situation. So we're going to take bot lane for that and then Yeah, we have a main tank, um, Arthas. Well, he's not really a main tank, but the two of us together are kind of like a main tank, so... Like I said before, you want to be a bit defensive, but you also want that offense as well. To make up for the fact that you got <laughs> two tanks. Two off tanks. Now with farming mobs, you really just want to queue in, and then you want to hit your E. Sometimes you can't get enough from the Q, enough fury from the Q for your E, so you want to oh no. swing a couple of times, then Q in, then hit your E, oh, and then if you have excess fury, you can uh, use your W. So we had a pretty good start here, a lot of damage done to that tower. No, I haven't played this map um, a lot of times since it dropped, but I do enjoy it. See, so yeah, I always like to play defensively and uh, stay back as much as possible in the early game. We've already got one of their tires down, which is really good. Just gonna aggress a little bit because the tower has no ammunition. Oh, oh, the gank. Whoa. A little bit of an overstretch there. It was a bad play. And so far we've got the block and the uh, ferocious strike. Yeah. 
And right here is just uh, taking this camp by myself to show you uh, the solo capabilities of Sonya. She's really strong, especially if you go for the life funnel with the whirlwind. It just gives you so much health return and you can do things like this really easily. I mean, I'm doing these two at level five. And it's the same as when clearing the mobs, you just want to Q in and then E and W with your leftover fury. Yeah, you know, that gave us a nice little push. The two towers are already down from earlier. And we're ahead on handing in as well. So things are going really good so far. I'm pretty sure the next skill that I'm going to be getting is Ferocious Healing, and that's just going to give us a lot more sustain, and it's going to allow us to um, push a lot harder and uh, get in their face a bit more. All right, we've got that now. It's really good to use up that excess fury instead of uh, your W. If you don't have a lot of fury, it's always good to press one. You just get that extra bit of health. So we got the hand in, which is nice. That's gonna be a good push. Hopefully, take this tower down. I was just getting a little aggressive. Poking. Clean this up. And we got that tower down as well, which is really nice. The keep, I should say. God, transport build is so fun. I chose uh, the leap ultimate because I like closing gaps and as you can see right there it just stuns the opponent and uh, keeps him in position it's really nice we've got a really aggressive push going on right now And I haven't even had to use Ferocious Healing yet, that's how much heal I'm getting back from the Whirlwind. Even before I take something like Light Funnel. So we're gonna solo another camp. Which again is really easy with her. It's even easier with life funnel, but um you get enough life steal without it, especially with ferocious healing to sustain yourself. So you can take camps by yourself throughout 
most of the match from level 5 onwards. Although the camps get stronger, they scale with the um, current level. So it's better to take them later in the game. And another tip when taking a camp, it's always good to um, clear the path that the camp's going to be going down the lane. Otherwise, it's kind of uh, a waste of your time to take the camp. You gotta make sure that you get something out of the camp that you captured so that the time was uh, well spent. I don't know how many times I see people capture a camp and then just leave it to do its own thing. They're gonna push so hard. They got doubles to guard all of its own. Or, you know. Their whole plan is sad. So they've done pretty good to catch up uh, the level gap. This poor Zagar, though. And again, that ultimate. Jesus Shopping Christ. close that gap. Did I hit the Q? Nice. So you have a lot of gap closing if you choose that ultimate to leap. Because you have your R and your Q. And R is a really easy skill shot. The Q is a bit harder, but... And I'm, I'm pretty sure I just took life on there. So now my whirlwind is just the same. I'll help now finish this camp. It's poor Zagara. <laughs> no, but I wasn't lucky that time. It looks like we've got Handed again, so we're gonna have another strong push. And try and catch these guys out. And again, that ultimate, just closing the gap and holding them in position. It's got a really strong push going down this lane. And I have a lot of sustain, so I can um, afford to be pushed up this far. Which is why I like taking some of the uh, defensive skills with Sonya. And not just focusing purely on attack. As you can see, the ferocious healing coming in handy there, just barely stayed alive, but the whirlwind just gives so much health. And yeah, I'm pretty sure we, yeah, we pushed to win right here. It was a fairly quick match, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're going to be doing more builds, and if you did like the video, make sure to subscribe and uh, check me out on Twitch. I'll put the details down in the description below.